Welcome back. Today we are going to talk about how to set up a network for auto application. Recently we received an inquiry from one customer. He needs to set up some camera and auto access point around the swimming pool and the rest area in the hotel. He can just wire the internet cable like K5E, K6 from the PoE switch to each of these setup spots. But some of the spots need long run. As we know, the PoE or TCP IP network is limited to about 300 feet. So that means he needs to daisy chain the PoE standard to repeat the PoE or data network. It looks quite messy. He's looking for optional solution. One of the possible solutions is a fiber optic cable. First, let's just move the whiteboard and see what is the real situation he's dealing with now. If you are getting difficult with your project, please feel free to contact us. We may be able to help. This is the case. The client needs to install three cameras around the swimming pool plus the Wi-Fi coverage. And there are also some cameras need to be installed in the rest area with the Wi-Fi coverage. So the customer can still have Wi-Fi access when they stay in these two areas. There's about 500 feet between the swimming pool and the hotel. It's about 450 feet from the rest area to the hotel. If you just use the KFI or K6 Ethernet cable, you need to have some kind of extension solution like the PoE standard because the PoE or TCP IP network is limited to about 300 feet. So eventually he will have a lot of PoE standard plus the cable. That's the reason why he's looking for the optional solution. We can use the fiber optic cable from setting the link from the hotel to these two areas. Now let's move the workshop and see what is the equipment he needs to complete the system setup. This is the IP camera we mentioned and the auto access point which can provide the Wi-Fi coverage. Both devices are connecting to this bus. This is the auto PoE switch. This switch can provide both power and data through the single internet cable to each of these devices. So we do need to have the power source around the camera or access point. And here we got one fiber optic cable. This fiber optic cable is connecting to this box. This is just the cable management box. From here we have the pre fiber optic cable. The pre fiber optic cable have two codes, but we are just using one code to connect to this switch. Usually we need two codes, but why we can use one code? Because we are using the BIDI transmitter which can take different wavelengths to send and receive the signal so one code will be enough so it leaves another code we can use for the rest area and from here we will go back to the center we have another box it's quite similar also for the cable management we are using the pre-make fiber optic cable so we don't need to do the fusion job the terminal the connector has been made in the factory simply just plug and play it and from this box, it just leads to this PoE switch with the SRP slot, which can take in the fiber optic cable. The MVR is connecting to this PoE switch. Now it, the camera's live. If your switch doesn't have SRP slot, which cannot work with the fiber optic cable, you can use this media converter. The media converter will convert the optical signal to the electrical signal. Eventually, you got the RJ45 network output. One thing important about this media converter or SRP slot is the SRP chain server. It will determine what kind of fiber optic cable you can use, single mode or multi mode, and what kind of connector you can use. Here we are using a single mode fiber optic cable with the UPC connector. Alright, that's all for today's video. If you have any question, please leave a comment section below. See you next time.